The biopsychosocial model is an approach to understanding health and illness by considering biological, psychological, and social factors. Unlike traditional medical models that focus only on physical causes, the biopsychosocial model recognizes that mental health, emotions, behaviors, and social environments also play a role in overall well being. This model is commonly used in healthcare, psychology, and social sciences to explain how different influences interact to shape an individual's health. By looking at multiple factors, the biopsychosocial model provides a more comprehensive understanding of diseases, treatments, and patient care. Now let's explore the origin of the biopsychosocial model. The biopsychosocial model was first introduced in the 20th century as a response to the limitations of purely biological explanations of illness. It was developed to address the idea that medical conditions cannot always be understood or treated by looking at physical symptoms alone. Researchers in psychology and medicine proposed that mental states, stress levels, family support, and cultural influences all contribute to health outcomes. Over time, this model became widely accepted in healthcare, leading to a more holistic approach to diagnosing and treating patients. Now let's look at some key characteristics of the biopsychosocial model. The biopsychosocial model is defined by three main components. The biological aspect includes genetics, infections, brain chemistry, and physical health conditions that affect well-being. The psychological aspect examines emotions, thoughts, coping strategies, and mental health conditions such as stress, anxiety, or depression. The social aspect considers relationships, cultural background, socioeconomic status, and environmental influences that impact health. These three factors interact with each other, meaning that an illness or behaviour is rarely caused by just one factor. Now let's look at an example of the biopsychosocial model in action. A common example of the biopsychosocial model is in understanding heart disease. A biological factor such as high cholesterol or genetics may increase the risk of heart disease, but psychological factors like chronic stress and poor coping strategies can make the condition worse. Additionally, social factors such as access to healthcare, a person's diet or workplace stress can also influence the development and progression of heart disease. By considering all these factors, healthcare professionals can develop treatment plans that include medication, stress management techniques, and lifestyle changes rather than just focusing on one aspect. Now let's examine some strengths of the biopsychosocial model. One major strength of the biopsychosocial model is that it provides a holistic approach to health, recognizing that physical conditions are influenced by mental and social factors. Another advantage is that it promotes personalized treatment, as healthcare professionals can create plans that consider an individual's unique biological, psychological, and social circumstances. Additionally, the model encourages preventative care, focusing on lifestyle changes, mental well being, and social support rather than just treating symptoms. By addressing multiple factors, the biopsychosocial model improves patient outcomes and overall well being. Now, let's explore some limitations of this model. Despite its strengths, the biopsychosocial model has some limitations. One challenge is that it can be difficult to measure the impact of psychological and social factors, as these influences are often subjective and vary between individuals. Another issue is that the model requires collaboration between medical, psychological, and social professionals, which may not always be possible in every healthcare setting. Additionally, treatment plans based on the biopsychosocial model can be complex, making them harder to implement compared to traditional medical approaches. While the model provides a comprehensive understanding of health, its broad scope can make it difficult to apply in every case. Now let's look at an alternative approach to understanding health. An alternative to the biopsychosocial model is the biomedical model, which focuses solely on biological and physiological factors in diagnosing and treating diseases. Unlike the biopsychosocial model, which considers mental and social influences, the biomedical model treats illness as a physical condition that can be addressed through medical interventions like medication or surgery. Another alternative is the holistic health model, 
which expands on the biopsychosocial model by incorporating spiritual and environmental factors into healthcare. While the biopsychosocial model provides a more balanced approach than the biomedical model, different frameworks offer unique perspectives depending on the type of illness or 